Now here's another one here. And take a look at this part. You see this one here? Remember what we said is a size, what size was, is a size was opposing elements here. This is what size were. And as we've got this category. And this is not a size feature. And I highlighted here what a regular feature of size is. One cylindrical or spherical surface, a cylindrical element, a set of two opposed parallel elements or opposed parallel surfaces. You see they're not opposed from one another. That means that if I'm going to check this, this is not really something I could check with calipers. You know, how would I do that or a micrometer? You see how I can't really pinch that? Let me show you the problem here. We're going to take this part here, and I send it out to the supplier, and I say, could you make this part for me? And he says, no problem. 20 millimeters, and it's plus or minus 0.3. So what they do is they just take it over to the brake, and they bend it up. Now, when I get it in, it comes in, it looks like this. Well, now, is that part good or bad? So we send it down to the inspection. We send it down to the inspection. We said it must fall within those limits. So here's our limits. This is the max that thing can ever be. Don't let it get any bigger than 20.3. So I take that part and I put it into inspection. It looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks good. It's good. But then Scott says, well, what, what you, I think what you ought to do is you ought to push it down over here. But now it's bad. Well, now it's good. Now it's bad. Now it's good. Hey, you tilt it like this. Now it's really good. You know, it just hit. There's not enough information. You see, is uh, well, Scott, you have that one that's like that that we had made from our vendor again. Yeah, here it is. You know, the part it was supposed to be supposed to be parallel these two surfaces, and I wanted to make sure it's not any bigger than 20.3. So, you know, the way we check it. I mean, when I first looked at it, I said, well, you must line up to the long one. So you line up to the long one. You measure it with a height gauge. You see how high that is. Somebody says, no, 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 you just switch it around, you just turn it around, and all of a sudden it pops way up in the air. So really the problem is there's no datum here. It doesn't tell you, am I supposed to start from the short surface and measure to the long one? Am I supposed to sh start on the long one and measure to the short one? It really doesn't say. So I think you have a solution to this, don't you? Yeah, we do. In other words, this here is, is not a feature of size. It is really location. In other words, what you want to do is you want to set one at zero and you want to measure to the other one. So here, for example, is a part that's, uh, that we have. And let's say it's fastened on here. And what we have to do is we have to clear a little button. If we were doing something like this, see, what we would need to do is, is we would have to identify this feature as the datum feature. See, it's A. And then we say it's up 20 millimeters. And then it has a profile of 6. And you remember what that means. All that that's doing is saying there's a zone of tolerance up here on an entire surface that's a zone of 0.6. So it's really 20 millimeters plus 3 or minus 3. And the verification process then tells you to rest on this bottom surface and make sure it's height high or low like that. And you say, well, no, no, it doesn't work like that. What it does is it mounts on the long surface. Well, if it mounts on a long surface, then the long surface would be our datum. It would be shown like this. See how the datum is switched to the top now? And then what we have is, is we have a distance here of 20, and then we measure it. So then it tells us to measure like this. So what this part is, is, is it's, really not, uh, it's really not size anymore. What it really is is location. You set one at zero, and then I'm going to measure to the other one. And when they're unopposed like that, that's what you would have. Now, you notice we have drawings. I've seen drawings. I've made drawings in the past you know, that we've used plus or minus all over. But now that we know a little bit more about it, we're finding that that, that doesn't really make sense. If you ask somebody with a coordinate measure machine to measure something like that, that's the first thing they're going to do is where is zero? Where am I going to put zero at? And if you don't tell them, they just make it up. So we want the engineer, everybody, to be cognizant that what you have to do is you have to think a little bit about the verification or the inspection of this thing. Where is zero? So this here is not size. It doesn't fall into that rule. 